Namaste. How are you all? So today's class is about full body yoga. So let's start with a little bit of warm up. Take your hands up, fingers interlocked, palms facing outwards. And as you inhale, lift your heels up. And as you exhale, bring them back down. Yeah. Keep your hands stretched. So all these asanas are going to remove energy blockages from your body. So yeah. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax, shake your arms. And now I'm doing Bandhast Uttan Asana. So this is a very nice exercise for your arms. Straighten your arms as you inhale. Take your hands up, cross them. And as you exhale, bring them back down. Yeah, let's do this for a few rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. Shake your arms. And now I'm doing Teriyaki Tadasana. So this will give a very nice stretch to your sides. Yeah. Interlock your fingers, open your legs a little bit and then as you inhale, first go to right, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, one last time, inhale and hold this time and look above your left hand, sorry look below your left hand and then gently come back and now go to the left and look below your right hand, and now gently come back. Shake your arms a little bit and now I'm doing Teriyaki Tadasana. Yeah, come to center. Yeah, like this and straighten your spine. Take your hands in the front and now one, exhale, two, exhale, three, exhale, four, exhale, five, exhale, six, Exhale, seven, exhale, eight, exhale, nine and hold this time. Come back to center and then go to left and hold. And come back to center and relax. Yeah, shake your arms, release your and release and relax your hands. And now let's do some hip circles. So this opens your pelvic area and if anyone has gas, this is a very nice asana for that purpose as well. So also hip circles are a full body warm up. Come on, make nice and big circles. One, two, three, four, five, and now anti-clockwise one, Two, three, four, five. Relax, shake your legs a little bit. And now, cross your legs. My right leg is a little bit towards left side. And then my left leg is a little bit towards right side. And then take your hands up and down. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the same on the other side. Yeah, this time bring your left leg towards right side and right leg is a little bit on the left side. And yeah, then cross and start one, two. 
three. So this is giving a very nice workout to my thighs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job guys. Shake your legs. Relax your legs. And now, Akarna Dhanur Asana. So this asana, you know, very nicely works on your upper back. So our upper back, few regions of our upper back, you know, we do not exercise them a lot. So they hold a lot of tension. So this exercise is a very nice exercise to release energy blockages from that area. So take your left feet a little bit in the front. Yeah. And then straighten your left arm and then pull an arrow from your right hand and your eyes will be towards left side. Let's do, do this for a few rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax and now my right foot is a little bit in the front and right hand straight and then pull an arrow from your left leg. So when you're taking your hand back, you will feel your upper back is moving like this. Make sure you, make sure that you can feel that movement. All right, come on, let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very nice guys. Come on. Now, be seated on your mat. Sit down on your mat. Yeah. And if you want, you can sit in Padmasana or you know, you can sit in cross-legged posture if you want. Take it. And now, yeah, relax your body and mind. Join your hands in front of your heart. and take deep inhalations and exhalations let your body calm down and now let's chant om for three times take a deep inhalation om. As you exhale slowly, bow your head down and gently open your eyes. Come on, let's continue with our class. Take your hands up as you inhale and then as you exhale, take your hands back. Twist your body towards right side and then inhale, exhale to the left side. Inhale up, exhale to the right and inhale up exhale to the left twist nicely inhale up and exhale to the right twist and hold this time look back and then inhale up and then twist to the left and look back And now come back to center. Now, as you inhale, bring your arms up to the center. And as you exhale, come to the center. All right. Inhale up. Exhale, center. Inhale up. Exhale, center. Inhale up. Exhale, center. And hold this time. Look in the front. Inhale up and release and relax your arms. Now, let's do eagle arms. Yeah, so interlock, interlace your hands like this and 
Yeah. As you inhale, lift your arms up. And as you exhale, bring them back down. Yeah, so this gives a very nice opening to your shoulders. You release the stress in your shoulders by eagle arms. So, yeah, let's do this. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And hold this time. And exhale and hold. And relax. And now change your arms. Yeah. So make eagle arms once again and inhale, go up. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Inhale up and hold. And exhale, down and hold. And release. Very nice. And now interlock your fingers and place them behind your head. So this gives a very nice opening, very nice stretch to your upper back. So this is a very nice asana for your good posture as well. Interlock, interlock your fingers behind your head. And now as you inhale, push your hands backwards. And then as you exhale, make a hunch in your back, come down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and hold this time. Yeah. Make sure that you are feeling the nice stretch in your upper back. So open your arms nicely. Push your head a little bit front. And then exhale and gently release your arms and relax. And now open your legs wide. Yeah. So now we would be doing Chakki Chalan Asana. So this is a very nice exercise for your abdomen. It helps you reduce belly fat. Come on, let's start. Interlock your fingers and we'll be making five rounds clockwise and then five anti-clockwise. Make big circles. One. Two, three, four, five, and now five anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. And now, yeah. Let's do Naka Sanchalan Asana, another asana for your abdomen. Come on, let's start. One, two, a very nice asana for your shoulders as well. Three, four, five, and now five anti clockwise. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. And now come into Baddha Asana. Butterfly. Yeah. Bring your feet close to your perineum and then move your legs up and down. Yeah. Try to bring, the, bring them as high as you can. One, two, three, four, five. And now, if possible, try and keep your elbows down and then move your legs once again up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Gently come back up. So, when you put your elbows down, you know, you get a very nice stretch in your quadriceps as well. Now, come to cat cow position. While you are doing Marjari Asana, Keep your abdomen engaged, keep your core engaged. So when you engage your core, you know, you give a nice exercise to your abdomen, to your core. All right. Inhale, head up, spine down and give a nice stretch. Engage your core muscles and then exhale, head down, spine up. Inhale, 
exhale you should feel a nice stretch from your pelvic area all right inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and hold exhale and now as you inhale lift your bent right leg up for vyagrasana yeah come on once again remember to engage your core muscles inhale exhale touch your knee to forehead inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and take your bent right leg towards left side all right and look at your left look at your right toe from above of your left shoulder and then bring your knee to forehead and hold the posture now make knee circles one two three four five and now anti clockwise one two three four five now straighten your right leg and left hand and now try to touch your right knee to your left elbow let's do this for a few rounds one exhale two exhale three exhale four exhale five and hold and exhale and hold and relax come to, come back to cat cow posture marjari asana and now let's do vyagra asana from left leg yeah lift your bent left leg up and then try and touch your knee to forehead two exhale three exhale four exhale five and take your left leg towards right side yeah and look at your toes and now touch your knee to forehead now make circles with your left knee 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 anti clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 and now straighten your right hand and left leg now as you inhale touch your elbow to your knee and then as you exhale straighten your arms and leg inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale and hold and exhale and hold and gently come back to cat cow now yeah make circles while you are in cat cow posture like this 1 2 3 4 5 and now five anti clockwise 1 2 3 4 5 and 
Fine. Now, from cat cow, go to downward dog. Yeah. Lift your knees up and go to downward dog. Push your shoulders inside. Yeah. And take a few breaths in. Downward dog. Yeah. Push your shoulders inside and take your hips higher. And now, take your right leg up. Yeah, like this. Hold the posture. And now, from here, try and touch your knee to forehead. Yeah. Once again, take your leg up. And then, knee to forehead. Inhale up. Knee to forehead. Inhale up. Knee to forehead. Inhale up. And now, place your right leg on left side. And then, straighten your left leg. And take your right hand back. So, this posture is called wild thing. Wild thing, sorry. So, this is giving a very nice opening to your heart. And also giving a very nice stretch to your body. And then, gently bring your hand back and come back to downward dog. Yeah. Push your shoulders inside and take your hips higher. And now, take your, place, bring your right leg a little in the front and take your left leg up. And now, touch your knee to forehead. And then take your left leg back. Knee to forehead. Back. Inhale front. Exhale back. Inhale front, exhale back, inhale front, exhale back and now bring your left leg on left side, straighten your left leg and then open your heart. Extend your hand for wild thing posture. And then bring your left leg back on the back mat and come back to downward dog. And for a few breaths, relax in child's pose. Yeah, open your legs a little bit and extend your arms in the front. Rest and relax. Now come back to cat cow and from cat cow go to downward dog. Yeah. Stretch your hips, take them higher and then jump between your hands and then full forward fold. Take your arms up for Hastuttanasana. Take your arms down for Padhastasana. Straighten your spine, half forward fold. Keep your hands on the mat. Take your legs back for Chaturanga Dandasana. And then lift your spine up for Upward Dog. And then go back to Downward Dog. Now jump between your hands. And then full forward fold. Look down. Take your spine down, head down, and then take your arms up for Hasta Uttan Asana. And then once again, take your arms down for Padhast Asana. Look in the front for half forward fold. Keep your arms down, your hands down, and then come to Chaturanga Dandasana. And then lift your spine up for. Upward dog and then go back to downward dog. Once again, jump between your hands and then take your hands up for Padhast Asana. 
Take your arms down for full forward fold. Then straighten your spine. Half forward fold. Take your legs back for Chaturanga. And then come to upward dog. Yeah, lift your spine up, your head up. And then come back to downward dog. Now place your right leg in between your hands and then take your arms up for high lunge. So my left heel is not touching the mat and stay in the posture. Take a few deep breaths here. Then keep your left feet 30 degrees and slide your hands to Virbhadra 2. Look at your right hand. And take deep breaths. Feel the flow of energy in your body. And then place your hands back on the mat. Take your right leg back for downward dog. Yeah, take your hips higher, shoulders inside. And now place your left leg between your hands and then first go up into high lunge. So my left leg is bent and my right heel is not touching the mat. All right, take your hands up for high lunge. And now for Virbhadra 2, your right feet is facing a little bit towards 30 degrees, left leg is bent and then slide your hands for Virbhadra 2. Look at your left hand, take a few deep breaths here and then place your hands back on the mat and take your left leg back. Very nice guys and now move your legs up and down. Now, once again, place your right leg in between your hands and this time, come up once again, place your left feet 30 degrees and come to Virbhadra 2 this time. Take a few deep breaths here. And now, Hold the fingers of both the hands. This is revolved bound angle pose. And lift your left shoulder up. Look up. Take a few deep breaths here. And then gently release your hands. Go back to Virbhadra 2. And then place your hands back on the mat. And take your right leg back. Go to downward dog. Relax yourself while you are in downward dog. Take a few breaths here. And now place your left leg in between your hands. And right feet 30 degrees on the mat. And then slide your hands into Virbhadra 2. Take a few deep breaths here. And then. Hold the hands, hold the fingers of both the hands and lift your chest up. Look up, take a few deep breaths here and keep your legs engaged, keep them tight. And then release your hands, come back to Virbhadra 2. Place your hands back on the mat and take your left leg back. Go back to downward dog. Now, place your right leg a little behind your right hand. So, we are doing Ardha Chandra Asana now. Yeah, let me do this from other side. Yeah. Now, place your right leg a little behind your right hand. Yeah. And now, gently making balance. First, lift your left leg up and then straighten your right leg. And then lift your left hand up. 
yeah hold the posture feel the nice stretch nice workout in your legs take a few deep breaths here and if possible hold the ankle of your left leg for ardha chandra chap asana yeah and stretch your leg so this gives a very nice stretch to your hamstrings and quads also so it is stretching my right hamstring and my left quad so this is an amazing asana for your legs and this is opening your heart as well and that gently release your legs come back to downward dog and now place your left leg a little behind your left hand and then first lift your right leg up and then making balance lift your right hand up So this is working on your glutes, working on your hamstrings, opening your heart. It's an amazing asana. And now let's do Ardha Chandra Chap Asana. Hold the ankle of your right leg and yeah, feel the opening of your hamstrings. And then gently release your leg. and go back to downward dog move your legs up and down stretch your legs so when you move your legs up and down is it gives a very nice exercise to your calf muscles and now relax in child's pose open your legs and relax yeah and now from child pose first come on to all fours and then go to downward dog jump between your hands full forward fold take your arms up for hasta uttana asana now bring your hands to center and then making balance take your left leg back and come to virbhadra 3 and then come to center take your hands up yeah and then keep your left leg on top of your right knee and then bend your legs down for vatayana asana and hips are a little bit back yeah bring your hands down and take your left leg back and then your right leg back go to chaturanga and then upward dog go to downward dog now jump between your hands and then full forward fold take your hands up for hast uttan asana and now bring your hands to center and then this time take your right leg back for virbhadra 3 and now bring your leg up bend leg up and keep it on your left knee and move a little bit down bend your left leg and then take your arms up for vatayana asana and then take your right leg back and then left leg back go to chaturanga upward dog and downward dog 
and now jump between your hands and come to boat pose yeah yeah look up take a few deep breaths here engage your core muscles and now keep your feet on the mat and your fingers facing towards yourself lift your hips up all right so we are coming to desk pose now yeah very nice rest your hips back on the mat straighten your hands for boat pose yeah straighten your spine as well and then come back to boat pose yeah fingers facing towards your hip there is a gap between my legs and then lift your hips up open your heart look a little bit back once again come back down straight in your arms yeah come to boat pose straighten your spine and once again last round yeah go to desk pose and then rest your hips on the mat straighten your legs yeah let me move a little bit forward yeah and then move your hands a little bit back fingers facing towards your hips and then now i'm doing purvottan asana all right lift your legs up yeah come back down shake your hands a little bit yeah and one more round of purvottan asana yeah take your hands a little bit behind your hips and then yeah lift your hips up look back and then gently place your hips back on the mat relax yourself shake your legs good job guys it was a very nice workout yeah come on now straighten your left leg and keep your right feet on your left thigh left hand on your right thigh and then stretch a bit towards left side take a few calming and relaxing breaths and stretch your right side come back to center and now straighten your right leg keep your left feet on your right thigh right hand on your left thigh and then stretch your left side and then gently come back straighten your legs yeah and now bring your right feet on your left thigh you are doing janu shirshasana now yeah take your hands up and try and hold the feet of your left hand all right don't over push yourself just try to understand how much your body can do and if possible if you can then try and touch your head to your knee and then gently come back up relax your hands and now straighten your right leg and left feet is touching your right thigh and then take your hands up and hold your right feet and then try and touch your head to your knee if you can otherwise just hold the posture and then gently come back down now 
I am doing Gomukh Asana. Your left leg goes down and right leg on top of it. Yeah. And now try to hold the fingers of both the hands. Right hand goes up and hold the fingers of your left hand. Yeah. You can use a towel if you want. Look in the front. So Gomukh Asana, you know, is a very nice heart opener, hip opener. So yeah, smile and take a few breaths. Hold the posture. And release your arms. Now change legs. This time my left leg goes on top of my right leg. <laughs> And now your left hand goes up, right hand goes down and use a towel if required. Yeah. Yeah, look straight, open your heart. Take long and deep calming breaths. And relax, release your hands and now lay down on your back. Now fold your legs and now cross your right leg on top of your bent left leg and take your legs down. Open your hands and look towards right side. So this gives a very nice opening to your spine, to your glutes. Come back to center, change legs this time. My left leg goes on top of my right leg and bend it towards right side and look at your left side. Come back to center. Yeah. And now take your hips up for Shoulder stand. Now take your legs back for Halasana. And interlock your fingers. Now, touch your knees to your ears for Karna Pirasana. And then, release your legs down. Now, let's do Balasana. Yeah, open your legs, relax while opening your legs. And you can move your legs like a baby if you want. Happy baby posture. Yeah. Take a few breaths. Feel the joy in your body. Be grateful for yourself. You took out some time for yourself. And take long and deep breaths in. Happy baby. And then for a few breaths, you know, just hold the Pavan Mukta Asana posture for your spine strength to relax your spine. And then just lay down in Shavasana. Your legs are not touching each other, your hands are not touching your body and then just fully let go and relax. Just try and be in the present moment. Feel the flow of energy in your body.
Let your total body, full body relax. And now, shift your body weight to one side and sit in a comfortable position. You can sit in Sukhasana if you want and if you want and if you want then you can sit in Padmasana. Yeah. Let's end the class with Brahmari Pranayam. Keep your four fingers on top of your scalp and gently close your ears. Alright. Keep your jaws relaxed. Close your eyes and we'll make a humming bee sound for five rounds. Yeah. Try to make it long. Come on. Let's start. down feel the vibration on your face for a few seconds observe it and now join your hands in front of your heart and let's end this session by chanting one om three shanti together take a deep inhalation open your eyes i hope you have enjoyed the class and remember to eat good food and keep doing yoga thank you so much for watching the video bye bye take care